What did I ever do to make you so cold on me? What can I ever do to appease your heart? Oh, no. How can you build a wall with so much crack on it? Tell me, tell me, oh my love Is this the love that you promised me? You promised me. How can we live together? So much bitterness. I feel so pain. So pain. My heart is broken. I feel so down. So no loving arms to me. I... I still remember all the promises you made to me before slipping this ring into my finger, Desmond. Stella, I love you. And only you. I will adore you and and cherish you. I'll protect you. I'll be your safety and I will not let any harm come near you. Share my dreams, my aspirations, and it, and my visions with you. I will not hurt you or make you cry, unless, of course, I make you laugh so hard that. But you shed tears of joy. These were your words to me. These were the sweet words, the soothing, beautiful words you said to me before we got married. I'm not going to stop fighting for it. I won't stop fighting for you. I won't stop fighting for us. Desmond, I love you. I love you so much. Good night. What did I ever do? To make you so cold on me What can I ever hey. do To appease you Uh, good morning You're off to work? Isn't that obvious? Yes it is, um, but breakfast is ready Please go eat 
I thought I made it clear that I prefer to eat in the office. Yes, yes you did. Uh, but, babe, it is only traditional that every woman gets to make breakfast for their husband every morning. Ledgers. Every virtuous woman. Okay, um, I'll bring you to your office then. That'll be necessary. Babe. How can you build a wall with so much crack on it? Tell me, tell me, oh my love. Is this the love that you promised me? That you promised me. How can we live together? We're so much better. You know you don't have to continue in this day, Nabi. Continue what? This marriage. It's obvious you're suffering this month. Because <laughs> which married man would <laughs> would prefer to eat breakfast in his office rather than what his wife makes for him in the morning. I don't like to eat early. Tell that to a stranger, not to me. What's really going on, my friend? What is happening this month? You know, we've been friends since childhood and I know you. Mm? I can tell when you're happy and when you're not. Remember when Jessica cheated on you? Mm? You, I won't stop telling how unhappy you were until you decided to open up. Tell me what's wrong. I am fine. Okay? Okay. Well, this is the Jacko proposal. I walked on it during the weekend, so take a look. Thank I noticed you. you didn't reply to your meal, so. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> Stella! Stella! I'm coming, please! Let's go. We're going for a child's naming ceremony and not clubbing. Why are you wasting time? I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I am so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I had to tidy up the house because Desmond might come home before me and I don't want him to meet the house untidy. Hello, wife Materia. Let's go, Joe. Uh, sorry, please. I had to call him. I had to tell him I'm going out. Wait, you have to call Desmond to tell him you're leaving for a child naming ceremony? Yeah. He's my husband. I can't just go out without telling him. Hi, babe. Um, I am... I'm going out. I'm going for Martha's baby's name ceremony. And um, you might get home before me. So your, your, your food is in the... Is this what you go through? For how long, Stella? Since the night of our wedding. S since what? Wait, wait, that's like a year now. Wait, this has been going on for a year and I'm just getting to know. 
Rita, this is my family. You don't expect me going to the world to, to, to shout about what is going on in my home. Oh, I'm the word, right? I guess. Wow. I, 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 I didn't mean it that way. No, that is what it is. Yes. I mean, we've been friends for all our lives and I am just getting to know. Come on, Stella. Rita, it's nothing serious. We're, we're working on it. We're, we're really, really working on it. <laughs> You're yes. working on it like this? Wait, this one I know adored you. That guy literally worshipped the store you stepped on. So whatever changed? I don't know. Countless times I've asked him repeatedly, but all he does is just, just stare at me like one, like one idiot. He wouldn't even say a word about it to me. He wouldn't even say anything. He just stares at me. Is this the love that you promised me? That you promised me. How can we live together? With so much bitterness. Hey, babe. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, food is ready. I made your favorite. I'll come down after I fresh now. All right, babe. Yeah. What's up, bro? Oh, I'm fine, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, your wife, how is she? Oh, she's fine. I'm done though. Ah, that was good. Yeah, coming back next week. Okay, that's good. You know I've been away for a long time. I might take a month or two to decide where I want to settle and establish. So I was thinking if you could talk with the managers of any of the hotel you have a good relationship with. You know, so they could give me a reasonable discount since I'll be staying for a long time. I didn't save up so much, so I wouldn't want to waste it all on hotel bills. Why do I need to talk to the hotel that will be my house? Bro, you guys are a young couple and I mean, you know, you don't need a third party. So you think you're going to come and stay in the same room with me and my wife, right? Are you sure about this? Oh, as soon as you're okay. Okay. Thanks, bro. I, I really appreciate it, truly. <laughs> I can bet you're going to get it. <laughs> Where? I know who you. Don't spot you. Don't forget your balls. <laughs> mm, play. I'll finish you today. Yeah, yeah you think it's has. uni, uni days. Finish us. Now, wow. Now, wow. I bless you when I plan me come. No, we did not. <laughs> Show him how he's done. Ah, 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 one, ah, one, ah, one, ah, one, ah, one, ah, one, one, ah, 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 one, Don't finish. Don't finish ah, one, ah, Finish one, ah, one, you Bola. Do it. That's what's up. That baby. nonsense. What you do doing with this? Ah! I go win you, my brother. I go win you. I go win you. Forget. See me in the my bottle. Just so you know. Hi. Do this. Let me end this thing once and for all. <laughs> I told you! I don't allow you to win, forget that. You don't allow me to win. Jack! Let's not try me. They won you, Let's not try me. Let's not try me. You try me. You've been won. That's you always give me back your head. Don't try me again. Well, that was a good one. That was a good one.
that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Try me again, bro. Hey, good boy. I'm hungry. I'm something. Drink something. I'm down. 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 Well, thank God he got you back home in one piece. I don't know why you're going up with one like you cannot drive at night. <clears throat> All right, yeah, good night. Everyone gets to see the happy and excited side of Desmond. Besides me, his wife. Why are you treating me like this? Why are you treating me like a leper in my own matrimonial home? What crime did I commit that cannot be forgiven? What did I do? Desmond. Desmond, I'm talking to you. Don't ignore me. What crime did I commit besides loving and respecting you? Respect? Did, did you just say respect? Yeah. Do you have the faintest idea of what the word respect represents or stands for? I don't think so. Just open your mouth and use the word respect anyhow. To me, what did I do wrong? How and and when did I disrespect you? Just, just let me know, and I would apologize for the rest of my life. Please. That's what I intend to make you do for the rest of your life. I feel so pain, so pain. My heart is. Ah, I feel so down, so, so down, down, so down, so down, so down. I feel so big. so big. He said all that? Yes, he did. And what did he say you did? Nothing. He just stared at me as usual. Wow. And you can't remember any time you disrespected him in public or something. Rita. You know me. I can't even talk back at Desmond in bedroom. Not to talk of disrespecting him in, 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 in public. If Desmond as much as slapped me in public, I would just walk away. I, I, I would not even have the nerve to talk back at him. Then what could be the problem? I don't know. I don't know. And, 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 and it's eating me up. It's, it's literally eating me up. I'm, 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 I'm dying in silence. Can I ask you something? Sure. Please be sincere with me. Rita, you know me, you know I would always be sincere with you. Was there any time you cheated on Desmond or something? God forbid, God forbid. Ah, I would never cheat on my husband. God forbid, not in this world or the Wait. next. Ah. Rita! Hold on. Don't get me wrong, okay? Ha! Hold on, don't get Never me wrong. Never cheat on my husband. Okay, I'm only asking. Don't get me wrong. I'm only asking because experience has it that cheating is about the only thing a man can never forgive. And I remember when you told me this has been going on for a year now. I'm wondering what could be the reason 
He is so angry. I don't know. Well, I've never cheated on my husband. I've never even been with another man ever since I left, I left Jerry for him. Then what could be the reason? Have you tried talking to any of his friends? Maybe Fred or that is lady friend I'm not comfortable with. I haven't. Though I have I have I've had the urge to speak to them about it. But each time I just think about his reaction to to it. it, it just it just kills me and it kills every urge to, to talk to his friends about it. So I Rita, this is your marriage. You should do whatever you can to keep it. Come on. You you can talk to his friends and if they really care about him, they should be able to tell you, except they don't know. And as for him knowing, just beg them not to tell him. Yeah. Fred. It's been really hard. It hasn't been easy from the very first day we got married. I envisaged a marriage filled with joy, a smooth marriage, one that we would love ourselves and live a happy home. But the opposite is the case. I, I, I did not, yes, I understand that every relationship has its ups and downs. I, I, I did not even envisage a relationship that is, a marriage that is filled with unending problems. And, and, and to make it work, I don't even know what the problem is. He has refused to talk to me about it. I'm sorry, Stella. Thank you. I know I've noticed some familiar behavior in this man, but I didn't know it was this serious. <laughs> I thought it was maybe normal couple wahala and all that, and definitely it will be resolved. I didn't know was it serious. He said he's punishing me for disrespecting him. He said that? Yes. And he said that I'll pay for it for the rest of my life. Fred, you're my husband's best friend. You both have literally been, you've literally been friends since childhood. Did. Has he said anything to you that I did? I, I'm willing to apologize. Just please let me know. Y yes. No. No, actually. I don't know. I, but if, even if I had known, at least I would have done something about it. It would have been resolved by now. So he didn't, he didn't tell you anything? He didn't open up to you about what I did? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, now that you've said it, I'll talk to him. Uh, no, no, please, please, please. Why? Uh, uh, please, um, I don't want him to get mad at me. The fact that he has not told you about it means that he doesn't want you to know. And, and, and I don't want to be a rebellious wife that goes about and now seeing her husband to his, his, his friends. Please, don't tell him. So you're just going to sit back and suffer for a crime you know nothing about? Fred, my husband, Desmond, is a good man. I believe that I may have done something to him that probably hurt his ego. So he's, he's uh, maybe punishing me for, for that. And, 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 and perhaps I'm... I, I deserve it. I deserve what he's doing to me. So I would, I would just, I'll just pray and um, work towards rekindling our love again. 
That's what I would do. Well, I'm sorry about that. I, I really wish and pray that everything be sorted out as fast as possible. Amen. Thank you. It is well. It's well. So everything for the general presentation is ready. I've asked Adibayo to um, book our hotel and flights. That's great. So guys, I know I am the lead presenter on this case, but I'll need you both to be on your A-game, in case need be. Yeah. I'm not going with you guys on this one. What? Yeah. Well, I hope you guys come on the same day from the fly. So you need to make um, arrangements to begin with that. Yeah, I'm picking him up myself and taking him straight to the hotel that I'm for him. So you need to allow the bio to just two tickets and two rooms. Okay, alright. You know what, Paul, I'll do it myself. I need to discuss some things with him. I'll see you guys later, okay? Have you noticed something off about him lately? Oh, this one? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. And I even tried talking to him about it, and he shut me out. That got me really upset, because I've never seen him act this way before. Ever. Stella came by the office yesterday. Really? How come I didn't see her? She didn't even step down from her car. What did she say is the problem? She... Tell me, don't worry. Ah, uh, but tell me now. Tell me. If everything that woman said is true, then she really needs help. What did she say? She said something about Desmond giving her a cold shoulder ever since their marriage. Cold shoulder? Hmm. Tough as much. No. Let me ask you. When was the last time Desmond was all over her and about her? That. So I thought. She said Desmond has not touched her ever since their marriage. How is that possible? This month, that cannot keep his hands off Stella. Ha. I don't believe that. Okay, so what did she say is the problem? That is where the problem is. The poor woman doesn't even know what the problem is. She said something about Desmond punishing her for disrespecting him. Yeah. What kind of year year punishment is that one? Omo, I go para for that guy when he comes back inside here. Ah, no, 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 no. Change it for him. No, no. Don't go there. Why? She actually begged me not to tell this man. Ah. Did she say anything about him abusing her physically? No. No. But that woman has had her own fair share of abuse emotionally. Hmm. But did she say anything about him abusing her physically? But that woman has had her own fair share of emotional abuse. <sighs> oh, you're welcome. Yeah, cousin, um, this is my wife, Stella. Stella Josh, my cousin. Oh my god. He'll be staying with us for some time till he gets his place. Thanks. Your wife? Wow, she looks prettier in 3D. 
Uh, thank you. Um, my husband here is so busy, so uh, he totally forgot to tell me you were coming. Yeah, just keep my mind. Yes. Um, welcome, welcome. How was your trip? Thank you, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> so what would you like to eat? Uh, anything local, part of the app and any local soup. Got you. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'll just All right. show you to your room, okay? Please, 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 please. <laughs> so, bro, how's work been now? Well, um, a little bit shaky here and there. But, you know, as far as there's a will, there's a way. There's a way. <laughs> Not from the insecurities, I mean, I mean, anyone can make it here. Yeah. yeah. But we hear and see about all the scary stuff happening mm. in the country, especially the high risk of insecurity. Mm. Well, that's about the biggest problem we're facing here. Yeah. All right. I'm, I have a trip to catch tomorrow. I'll, I'll see you, okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is everything all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everything is perfect. Okay. Uh, um, hope you enjoyed the meal. Are you kidding me? This is like the best meal I've had since I left the country. Oh! <laughs> thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. And about that, tell me, how long has it been since you left the country? Say about four to five years. Yeah. Immediately after my 25th birthday. Huh. Yeah. Okay, let me guess. You are 29, 30? Wait. 30, 30. Oh my God. Did I give myself a me? <laughs> I guessed right, right? We, 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 we. Thank you, thank you for the food. Oh my God. You're welcome. Oh. Nice to have you. Thank you. I feel so big. So big. My heart is broken. Ah. I feel so down. So down. 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 So down. brought your cousin to our home without telling me. And now you're traveling tomorrow and, and, and I'm just getting to find out over, over dinner like some servant? Desmond, has it got into this? I am your wife. This is our home. You can't, you can't take such decisions without consulting me. When you decided to disrespect me and give me reasons to not trust you anymore, did you consult me? I don't understand what you're saying. It disrespect you. Break your trust. What are you talking about? Well, you can pretend all you want. But one day, you decide to control, apologize, and confess all your atrocities. But I only hope that that day, I will still be around. What, what do you mean by that? Desmond, what, 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 what are you talking about? Because. I don't know what crime did I commit and I don't even know that I don't even remember. Just what are you saying? Just talk to me. What is it? What are you saying? If you if you as much as touch me with those your unfaithful hands, I swear to God, I will forget everything civil and moral about me. And I will waste it on you. Dear me and see. I ever do to make you so cold on me What can I ever do to appease your heart oh, no. 
How can you build a wall with so much crack on it? I'm good. Um, you're back. You're back so early. We left early. We were able to beat the traffic. Why are you crying? Uh, it, it, it's just so difficult to live a day without your brother. <laughs> are you two kidding me? How? Is this why you're moody? Come on, Stella. That, that's what happened when we were in the car. It was just moody all true. Come on, you guys are not kids anymore. You're not going to live with yourself forever, every day. Come on. I know, but it's still, it's still very difficult. I'm here for you. I'm always here to keep you company. Don't cry again. What did you cook was in the kitchen? Yes, I, <laughs> <laughs> I made um, scrambled eggs and boiled yam. Boiled yam? Yes. <laughs> Look at your face. Well, I asked this, mo this morning to tell me your favorite, and he said scrambled eggs and bald yam. So I made it for you. Bald yam it has been. Bald yam it will be and shall ever remain. <laughs> All right. Let's let me go. serve you. Thank you. Dining, it is. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Well, let me change. Okay. As in, this is not cool at all, eh? Those people who fix appointments with you and not still honor it. Uh -uh, Abba, imagine the way he just flippantly said, eh, that we should come in the morning like we don't have businesses to tend to. Uh -uh, does he know we have exorbitant hotel bills to pay here? Amanda, you've been in this business for quite some time now. You should be used to things like this. Ah, uh, but it's not fair. It's still so not what, fair. So what should we do? See, let's go to the hotel, eat some food and uh, gist. Mm -hmm. So, um... Was he able to fix everything? Yeah, I picked the car from the shop and got here straight. You drove here? Yes. I thought you used an Uber. Nah, I'm done with Uber. Now that my car is settled, I can now focus on the house in Matos Estate. Yeah, about that. How much is the rent per year? Um, 1.7 million. What? <laughs> That's a lot! 1.7 million! Rita, are you sure you can handle that? Hey, baby. Really? I mean, the place you are in now is really nice and it's just for 900,000 naira. Babes, calm down. A girl has to upgrade. Come on. Don't you know that the kind of house you live in and the kind of cars you drive determines the kind of money men give you? Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> what do you need men's money for? Baby. You are a working class lady and you earn so much. So why are you talking about men's money? Uh -uh. Eh? My salary is for savings and investments. Mm. And then those ones is for baby girls' life and that is their money. Yeah. Baby girls' life. Okay. <laughs> Hi. 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 Josh. Uh, meet my friend, oh, Rita. Hi. Rita, hi. Josh, my husband's cousin. He just got back from the States. Oh, nice to meet you, Rita. Oh, um, Josh, how are you doing? Hi, Josh. Hi, Rita. So, what did you bring from the States? Oh, your friend already collected everything, but not to worry. I'll arrange something for you. Okay. Um, are you going out? I have an appointment with an acquaintance, but I'll be back in an hour or two tops. Okay. Um, I might be going out as well. 
Oh, really? Yes. See you then. Take care of yourself. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. Come on to your iPhone, but do you not get money to give you? Biba, what does your baby girl life? He doesn't have the money to 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 to, to foot those bills. We're we'll fine now. It's fine. Excuse me. Hello? You can go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Didi! <laughs> Papa, babe. He said I can go. Okay, okay, so I'll go get my car then we'll get going. Come pick me up. Girl, I have my own car. Hello. Babes, you can't go in, in different cars. Come on, I'm a car owner. Yeah, right. <laughs> yep. It's open. Hey. Oh, you're still up. Uh, maybe you know that I do not to sleep when I enter my mouth outside my house. Mm. Oh, yo, yo, Hannah. I remember when, I remember when you first Fred and I to stay up with you till about four a.m. We almost missed our appointment with the minister. All thanks to you. <laughs> mm. Anyways, what are you up to? Uh, Fred sent me a blueprint. Uh, the mall in Lekki. We're trying to do some renovations there. Mm. Okay. Just making some adjustments. Okay. What? <laughs> hey, what's all this? What's all this nonsense? Hey? See, I'm going to kill this guy. I'm really going to kill this guy. I actually said the car was in perfect shape. What's all this? What's up? Any luck with a ride? I can't find any ride. Ah! What's all this now? What kind of nonsense is this? Okay, why don't we just um, take a take a work in front there or something? We might get laughs. Take a take a walk, so that they they'll kidnap me. Then what do if we I do? Just left, if I just left, if I just left on time, I I, I I won't be stranded here. I'm sorry. I, I was enjoying the party. Oh, are you enjoying the fact that we are stranded now? Are you enjoying it? What's up? Have you seen a ride? No. I'm calling my husband. Then who are you calling now? My husband. Oh. oh. Who is it? It's nobody. It's Stella, your wife. You said her name is Stella. That's her name. Are you kidding me? Pick a call, Joe. Take. Hello? So he can ask Josh to come pick us up. I just hope so. I just hope so. I'm... Hello? Hi, babe. Um, babe, um, Rita and I are... Stranded, her car broke down. You mean you're still at this time? Um, um, her car broke down, and, and, and we've been trying to get a taxi for some hours now, and, and we couldn't. I, I wanted, baby, I, it's not my fault. I, I, wanted, I wanted to leave, but, but, um, Rita begged me that um, she was enjoying the party, so she just begged me to stay a little longer. That's why. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm out in town, so why are you calling my phone? Babe, I, 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 I know you are out of town, but please, can you just 
call Josh to come pick us up. This place, I'm, I'm, I'm really scared. This place is not nice at all. Please, babe. All right. What's up? What does it say? I don't know. We'll just wait for Josh. What is it? Is she okay? Oh, she'll be fine. Huh? She said um, she's stranded and she wants me to call my cousin to pick her up. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Call your damn cousin. D, take now. Why are you being like this? Call your cousin. What the Hello, bro. Yeah, I, I even wanted to call you. It's almost midnight and your wife is not back yet. What? Okay, okay. Um, send me her contact out. Um, yes, yes. All right, no problem. You know you can always talk to me. What is really the problem? Mm? Like, what is really going on? Do you know, like, whatever it is, is affecting your work and your person. Mm? Now you're so grumpy, always looking for an excuse to be by yourself. And this, this, that just happened. <sighs> I mean, what kind of a man would be this unbothered, knowing that his wife is out there somewhere eh, by herself at this time of the night, knowing fully well how this country can be? Hmm. Sorry to say, it is, you're becoming heartless. What is it? Maybe it's just a man who feels betrayed. A man who gave everything, who should all the love he had in him to this woman, but yet he was paid back with deceit and unfaithfulness. And then these sins cannot be forgiven and you to move on? <laughs> not if, not if you walked into your wife having sex to another man on the morning of your wedding. What? Hey, this man, hey, why are you Mr. not dressed yet? Uh, I want to confirm if she has the rings with her. I'm, just, I'm, I'm a man, 10 minutes I'm dressed. Okay. Huh? Um, by the way, Mark is around, so she asks that I excuse them. Mark, her ex? Yes. Um, someone called that the mom is dead, so she, he, called, he came to congratulate her before leaving. All right. When did you continue with the wedding? I was too devastated to even think straight. Hmm. Man, 
I'm so sorry, Desmond. Ah, no wonder you were so unhappy throughout the wedding. But why didn't you talk to us, Fred or myself? Why didn't you talk to any of us? So now you guys will laugh at me again? Uh-uh, laugh at you, care. What kind of friend will laugh at a friend in this situation? Well, you guys have done it before, remember? When? Oh, yeah. Oh, my, we're kids that time. And besides, eh, that girl, we're not in, in support of that affair. Hmm? She wasn't uh, into you as much as you were into her. Well, now you know why. Uh, well, your wife told us. I mean, she told Fred everything when she came to the office. Everything that's been happening since you guys got married. As in, the poor woman doesn't know why she's been treated this way. She has no single idea why she's being punished. Have you thought of sitting down with her to have a discussion about this thing? Even if you cannot forgive her, eh? At least let her know her crime. And what would it change? Would it change the fact that she cheated on me? Or the fact that I still hear her voice mourning to another man's strokes every time I close my eyes? It doesn't, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything at all. But at least, mm, it will ease the pain you feel here. This pain that you've been battling with, it will ease it off. Huh? Lily, sorry, eh? Take it easy. Oh, let me go and sleep. Good night to you and God bless. Hmm? Miss you. Miss you. <laughs> I always miss you now, you know. But, you know, for that. Please, are you all right? Thank you Josh, so much. Thank you so much. I was already getting worried. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I, okay, so I, I, can, I'm can good, we leave I'm now? Good. Yes. You're not yes. going to leave your battery here like this. Um, we should leave it tomorrow. We'll just look for a way to sell everything sure now. Are you okay? Okay, yeah, let's yeah, 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 please. Let's just... Uh, right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No, it's okay. Ah. Let's get the bags. Mm. I've been trying to call my husband, but he's not taking my calls. I, I think he'll be sleeping right now. You know, he's very late. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, Josh? Thank you. I am. Um, I really, really appreciate you. Come on, Stella. Listen, listen, just go up, freshen up, rest. You look exhausted already. I am exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to go to bed because I have to wake up in the morning for early morning jogging. Jogging? Yes. I used to... I used to love jogging. I saw what happened. I got married. Okay, okay. And who said that married women cannot joke? You 
But you know what? Just, just go and rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. My heart is broken. Oh, I feel so down. So down, 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 down. In the middle of a cold night, no one to call to me. No loving arms, no loving arms to lean on. Oh yeah, I've tried my best to know what's on your mind. Is the only person with you in this house. Good morning. Josh, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so I want you to meet me downstairs in the next five minutes. Meet you downstairs? Yes. What's happening downstairs? I'm going jogging. Oh, jogging. Where I come from, married women jog. So make me downstairs. Okay. Um, and hey, don't keep me waiting. I'll try. All right. Mm. I wish I could carry you. Wait, wait. 
Sorry. Oh, I don't want you to swear. Let's just. Yes, yes, know, yes. Just, just, just endure. Just endure. endure the pain. <laughs> Yeah, please take this off as well. Uh, how do you feel? How is it now? Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. You know what's going to happen? Let me get you massage to help you massage this, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. Go on. Just, just, I'll, 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 I'll bear see, the pain. It's just massage oil. Yes. Oh, we have to do this so it doesn't swell. Okay. Long enough for me to be able to make this. You cooked? Yes, I had to. I figured you couldn't stand, so... I couldn't let myself starve. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yourself? Uh, yes, you, you, you thought I made this for you. Come on. Come on. All right, take your food away then. I was joking. No, you weren't. I was joking. If I wanted to make food that I would eat, I would just boil yam and eat now. Look, look what I made. Spaghetti. Your favorite, right? Uh-huh. How did you know? I called Rita and she told me. Thank you. Don't worry, let me feed you. No, no, please. I only sprained my ankles, not my arm. Okay. Help me with that. <laughs> no wahalasha. Ah. Josh, all the years you've spent in, uh, in America, you still don't know how to, to use their accents. What is no Allah? Oh, like accent. a very ras person. Oh, accents help. Listen, leave them to do their own. Let us do our own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a complete Niger boy for life. Mm. Yes, so. Mm. Okay. Thank you. This looks nice. Mm. Have a taste of this. One of my very good secrets is I'm a very good cook. Well, this is my stew now. It's only oh, spaghetti that I, you bought. I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I to take this, this is my stew. Don't I'll, take the glory for my back. stew. <laughs> I'm coming. It's okay, it's okay, I'll get it. I'll All get right. it. Hi. Bro. How are you? You didn't call to tell me to come pick you up. No, I used a taxi. Babe, I didn't know you were coming. Um, I, 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 I sprained my ankle. I took half a drug with me this morning. Babe, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry, I'll talk to him. 
don't worry, you don't have to talk to him. I would, I would, I would sort that out. Are you so angry that you couldn't show sympathy? I should sympathize with someone who has made disrespecting me her hobby. I asked you not to go out jogging. But then I turned my back and what did you do? The same thing I told you not to do. Desmond, what is so wrong with jogging? What is so wrong with jogging? I jogged before we met. Even while we were courting, I jogged. So why should now be different? What's, what makes it different now? Well, it's different now because you are married to me. You are my wife. And I own you. You do what I say you should do, when I say it, and how I say it, okay? Okay? Please, just pick. Please. Please, just pick up, please. Oh, it's still not picking. No. I, I, I shouldn't have disobeyed him and, 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 and gone jogging with you. Stella, come on, you didn't do anything wrong. For crying out loud, he is your husband. You are not his servant. Come on, your health, your happiness is supposed to be his priority. I, I'm, I'm happy. Tell that to the kids in kindergarten, Stella. Listen, I see everything that happens in this house. I noticed he didn't tell you that I was coming, even after I've given him one week notice. When you sprained your ankle five days ago, he didn't even tell you sorry. The night he told me to go pick you up when you were stranded, he didn't call me to ask if I've, if I've picked you guys up. Ah, <sighs> Stella, listen, I know that I'm not married, but I know that my wife's health and happiness should be my priority. Still not picking. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank God. <clears throat> oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. <sighs> Babe. <sighs> you, you got me worried. You're drunk. Babe, I, 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 I think you've, you've had enough for the night. Who are you to tell me what I've had? I've been spending time with my, you know, my lawyer bottles. <laughs> you okay. You know how the bottles are loyal. <laughs> you know? It's better than a cheating wife. Cheating wife? Uh, stop with the pretense. You know what I'm talking about. You babe. cheap whore. You touch me. Um, babe, um, you're drunk. Let's go. To Don't you touch me. I'm not going anywhere with you. I am not going anywhere with you. Okay? I'm tired of this. Charade, you call it marriage. The little pretense here and there. Sick and tired of it. 
Hey, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm confused. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. <coughs> the morning of our wedding, room 205. Does it ring a bell? Hmm? Okay. Since you want to talk, what about room 205? Let us talk about it. What about room 205? Your bloody ex boyfriend came to see you on the day of our wedding, and then she told her friend, Rita, that he lost his mother. Well, that was a ploy so that he can get into her pants and get Rita out of the room. I came there. And I had every single thing. I had every single thing that was happening in room 205. That is stuck in my head. Room 205. My wife was having sex. Uh, having what? Okay, Bright, I think you're drunk. Are you scared of this? Sit your ass down. Yes. I had everything. told me you were done with him. He disrespected you. He abused your body, abused your emotions, but yet, you, you were having sex with your ex on the day of our wedding. You shameless whore. Get out of my side before I hit you. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Stella, calm down. Calm down. He said, he said, room 205, right? Yes. That's what he said? Yes. Hi, hi, Rita. Um, do you remember our room number? What room number? Uh, the, the, one, the one we stayed during um, my wedding. What are you? 305. Not, not 205. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. He said, he said, two, two or five, right? Yes, that's what he said. All right. Thank you. I saw more than half. Desmond. Desmond. I was never in room 205. You sleep with me and then you ignore my calls. You had me twice, used me to quench your frustration like I was your adulterous wife and turned around to act like all dumb with, with me all through. That was the same thing you did just before you met Stella. You used me to satisfy your sexual desires, and once she showed up, you acted like I never existed. You shameless whore! Shameless whore! Oh my God, we punish your mother! God, we punish you! You are shameless! You are shameless! You cheating bastard! Cheating bastard! You guys get me for a whole year for a crime I know nothing about! And you go about sleeping with your so-called best friend! How shameless are you, Desmond? How shameless are you? Stella, <clears throat> you are the shameless one. You are very shameless. 
I heard everything. I'm 205. You are mourning loud, very loud, having sex with your ex on the morning of our wedding. You are shameless. Stella. I was never in room 205. You were in room 205. I was in room 305, you moron. Room 305. What? Yes, she actually called Rita, her friend, and she confirmed that she was in room 305 and not room 205. I know what I heard, okay? I heard her mourning. Ooh, ah! Loud mornings. Choke me! She was telling her ex to choke her on the morning of our wedding day. She's a cheat! I heard every single thing! How do you know how I mourn when you've never, you had never had sex with me? You never had sex with me! We promised each other not to have sex until the, the, the night of our wedding. Remember? That was your way of proving to me that, that, that you were different from my ex. You didn't have sex with me. How did you know how I mourn? So how could you have known how I mourn when you never had sex with me? How could you have known that I was the one in room 205 when you never had sex with me? How? You really messed up, bro. You really messed up. <laughs> Stella. In the middle of a cold night, no one to call to me. No loving arms, no loving arms to lean on. Oh, yeah. I've tried my best to know what's on your mind. Ooh. It's really, really hurting. To know that the pain is coming from you. I feel so pain. I feel so pain. I feel so shattered. I feel so shattered. Would you tell me? Tell me what I did to you. I feel so pain. So pain. My heart is broken. My heart. Sorry, Stella. How could he hurt me like this? For a whole year, I, I, I suffered for a crime I know nothing about. I was, I was celibate for a whole year, waiting for him, waiting for when he's ready, waiting for when he would forgive me for whatever crime I committed, not knowing that he was, he was busy, very busy, cheating on me with, with Amanda, okay. his, his so-called best friend. It's okay. <laughs> listen, listen, I totally understand how you feel, Stella. Trust me. And you have every right to be mad. But I just want you to calm down so you guys can talk this through. I'm even happy that now the truth is out in the open. Everything was a misunderstanding from the beginning. Please, I just want you to calm down and talk this through with him. Please. Can you stop crying? I don't even know where to start from. You, you, you two have been sleeping with yourself all these years and I never knew? Mm, uh -uh. It stopped. From the moment you started dating Stella, it stopped. Until you decided to rekindle it in Abuja. Huh? What kind of friends are you? What kind of friends engage in random sex? It wasn't random, at least not for me. I've loved Desmond, and I still do. Will you just shut up? You realize he, he's married? How would you feel if someone is sleeping with your husband, or your husband is sleeping with another woman? And you, Desmond? I'm totally disappointed. I'm ashamed. 
you subjected that woman to so much emotional torture for something she didn't know about. Why you are here busy marking this one up right and center? Uh. I am disappointed. In short, I hope, I, I hope you guys will never knock on this office, Abby. Uh. Uh. I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't stand the sight of you. Wonder shall never end. Wow. I'm not surprised anyways. I mean, I knew there was something unusual about that friendship. I mean, what kind of woman in her right sense, it will allow a man be her bestie, especially someone else's husband. <laughs> Babes, you're the one that caused all this mess. So you're the reason for all this mess. I'm telling you. How was <laughs> I to know? How? Hmm. They are childhood besties. Knocking partners. Babes, they were knocking partners. Besties with knocking agenda. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? Sorry. Okay, now that you know, what are you going to do? Nothing. Hmm. I just know that things can never be the same between us anymore. I understand. I understand, actually. Whatever decision you make, hey, I'm here for you anytime, any day, okay? Besides, you need to relax. I'm have just give yourself a baby girl treatment, you know? You need, uh, you need to rest, give yourself a baby girl treatment for the reminder of your wahala life. Wahala life? What do you mean by wahala life? I don't know. First, they accuse you of sleeping with your ex on your wedding day. Then you go a whole year without. Babes, what else? This is more than suffering now. You've seen a lot on earth already. You're mad. You're, you're crazy. I'm sure that they're gonna need this virgin you all over. You're very stupid. <laughs> baby, don't what's, so what's funny? Sorry. What's funny about all of this now? Wow. Sorry, babe. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, fine. Heaven is your goal. <laughs> sorry, now. I was only, I was only stating the obvious. I'm sorry. Welcome, hey, bro. I for now. Hi, it was work. Yeah, my great, great, great. Look, where's my wife? She should be upstairs. Ah. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Ah. Why? Where are you going to? I got an already furnished apartment and I'll be moving it in the morning. Ah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, um, thanks for looking at my wife. Come on, she's my sister, Ilo. But please, make sure that you guys said so. Okay, it's all right. Thank, Thank you, man. Go and rest, go and rest. <laughs> Work. Work was fine. Yes. What? Um, babe, what is it? Uh, um, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure?
see you. Last time I heard they said you were in Port Harcourt. What are you doing in town? Well, I, I came back two months ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Stella, listen, I heard what happened when I left the house. I'm yeah. so sorry. Thank you. I am... Um... I tried to stay back. I wanted to do everything I can to make it work. Uh, I couldn't just get over the fact that he cheated on me. So um, divorcing him was the best option. It was, was best for the both of us, so yeah. I understand, I, I, I totally understand how you feel. Okay. It's really nice seeing you again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my oh my God. It's oh really God. nice seeing you. Um, um, Josh, thank you. I just want to say thank you for everything you did for me. Thank you for always being there. I never really got the ch chance to tell you how grateful I am. Stella. Thank you so much. You don't have to. More so, I was looking out for your brother. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Um, so, um, how about... I invite you to my house this weekend, uh, Saturday. Okay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll cook your favorite. Bob yam and scrambled eggs. Stella, <laughs> the only reason I would not be in your house this Saturday is because I would be in your house this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday it is. All right, all right. See you on Saturday. All right, see you on Saturday. Indeed. I can't wait to have oh, you. Yeah. All right, have a great day. And please, um, all right, so you would... Um, I'll, I'll forward you the address All right, thank you. Yeah, see bye. You see you. <laughs> on your mind. 